What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So, every week, we're coming at you guys with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully benefit your relationship and your lifestyle. So usually we always talk about just relationship things, but I think lifestyle has a big part of that too as well because your lifestyle will ultimately reflect with your partner too as well and they're gonna see that. You guys are probably gonna go back and forth and probably have almost the same lifestyle, I guess, if you're getting really close. If you guys are just new to each other, you guys might have totally different lifestyles and are just at some point you're gonna have to meet in the middle <laughs> to mesh a little bit, right? <laughs> you're gonna have to meet in the middle. You can't be totally off. I mean, I guess you could, but doesn't always work out. Yeah, and then we want to start off by saying I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving out there. Oh, you know, I hope you had great times with your family, friends, um, and making new memories because you know Thanksgiving and these holidays, it's all about tradition and getting together, eating some good food, and having a great time with those special people. So it goes right along with that, I guess. If you ate. At Thanksgiving, you probably had a big plate, you better, eat or a small plate, or you might have had multiple plates if you had multiple destinations to go to. So our show today is about keeping the weight off in the holidays, or not gaining the weight during the holidays, and still having a good time and being able to eat. So I want to talk to you guys about some different tips and tricks that maybe me and Cherise do or some other people do that we know, our friends, our family, and stuff like that, that we've seen you know, get really good results and be able to enjoy the holidays. So let's get into some of these tips and tricks to help you guys. First off, you wanna make sure you're staying active, okay? Now, Thanksgiving just passed. I don't know if you overate or overindulged in some of these different foods or desserts or even drinks, because remember, when we overindulge in these things or overeat, this can really, you know, help put on those those pounds and you're intaking a lot of calories. And when you're intaking a lot of calories and you're not utilizing those calories, which are energy, you're storing those calories. And then you're just happy going. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and you're rubbing your belly like Santa Claus. I was just thinking but that. you're not I'm Santa thinking. Claus and you ain't got no presents. To I give. am bringing presents. <laughs> 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 so I think this is the biggest mistake a lot of people make is, you know, they sit there and they have maybe one or two big, big meals that they're usually not able to get down all the way or maybe they do and they're not, they're not usually doing this on a day-to-day -day thing as far as calories. So you want to make sure that you're not intaking an abundance of calories that you normally would. So, you know, the normal diet for somebody is usually about 2,000 calories per day. And that's without even adding in or subtracting calories you might be adding in or taking off by exercising. So you kind of want to stay around that limit. Now, like I said, staying active. So if you know you had a big Thanksgiving and overindulged, and that's okay. It's okay to do that during the holidays sometimes. You want to make sure you're getting activity the next day for sure. Because, for sure, because then it kind of settles in. Yeah. I know most of you guys out there, I know you guys wait, right? Because yeah. I feel like there's that little, I call it the grace period uh -huh. between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh -huh. And you just you kind of just wait for your New Year's resolution, right? Oh. And then what happens is in this little time frame, you just don't realize this 30-day period goes by. But you're like, oh, you know, I'll just I'll wait till the New Year's resolution. I'll really clean things up and clean up my act uh, right after the first of the year and really get to it, right? Yeah. But, you know, you don't realize how much you really set yourself back absolutely sometimes in a 30 day time frame you'd yes. be so surprised what you can do to yourself in 30 days for sure you'd be surprised what you could do yourself in a week yeah all right so you know it's it's really about balance absolutely. right it's about balance because me personally i like 
I like food, okay? I may not look look like I like food, but I truly do. I love food. Um, and I do, I like to have a few cocktails and stuff like that. That's, yep. you know, I like to enjoy life. This is this is what we like to do, enjoy Absolutely. life. Absolutely. But, you know, the flip side to me, I don't want to look bad, right? So, you know, I, I have to find this that happy medium too, you know? I, I'm not going to go run, you know, eight blocks, you mm-hmm. know, right after I go eat something at Thanksgiving. However... John reminds me, hey, listen, you know, you want to look good in your, you know, Christmas outfits and whatever else you put on for, you know, the holidays. You might want to go get on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Start burning <laughs> off. I mean, that's... that's, that's he the, doesn't tell me that directly. He might as well, but he doesn't say that directly because that would be kind of mean, right? No. But he doesn't say that directly. He's you like, know. babe, let's, let's go to the gym. Come if, on. Come on. Let's go. You want to motivate your partner <laughs> to make sure they're staying active and remind them about these different things. And not to slack, okay? That's just what it's about. It's okay to vacation a little bit, to take some days off, but you don't want to go 30 days per se, right? Right. Or all the way to New Year's from Thanksgiving. That just wouldn't work out well for you. I mean, you can definitely gain a lot of weight every week if you keep doing something like this. If you're overindulging in calories, not worried about what you're eating, and you're not exercising or doing any activity, you're really ultimately setting yourself up, your body up for failure and setbacks, like Cherie said. And this is something you don't want to wait on. Be proactive, right? Even just a little bit of activity is better than no activity whatsoever. So that's the big thing. Now, you know, if you're going to one place for the holidays or two places or three places or maybe Spread you went to four. Spread out your calories. Boom. <laughs> she hit it right in the head. So it's all about <laughs> portion control, right? It's not about like us. Like me and Sharice. When we would go on Thanksgiving, I think we talked about this last episode, our parents were both divorced. Ugh. So uh, at that point, we had to hit like three to so four different households in one day. It's a lot of driving. It's a lot being on the road. It's a lot of people, you know, you get to see, which is awesome. But it's a lot of food, too. Yeah, one of them was my grandma's house, right? And when we went there, let me tell oh, you. Oh, no. She, and bless her heart, I love her. <laughs> um, but, you know... She would not let us leave that. I mean, no. we wouldn't even be there 15, 20 minutes. Yes. And she's like, are you going to get the food? Yeah. I mean, the food's ready. Yeah. Go and eat it. Yeah. Go make yourself a plate. Yeah. And literally, I would go make John a plate because I'd be like, oh, if anyone's going to get in trouble for making the small plate, I'll let it be me. So I make John this like, you know, not even a small plate, just like nicely portioned. And he handed it to him. She's like, that's all he's going to eat? Oh, yeah. He doesn't want a se- Remember? He doesn't oh, want yeah. a second plate? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're feeding the dog underneath the table. Oh, like, no. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, and Grandma didn't have a dog, so there's no animals Grandma in the house. didn't have a dog. <laughs> okay, so there's no feeding underneath the table. It's literally you have to eat it down. You know, and you're, you're feeling, you, know, you don't want to disrespect anybody or, or have them feel some type of way of you not eating their cooking or something that's there. It takes a lot of time sometimes to cook, right? And it, it makes does. you feel good. You know, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, right? Yeah. If you're slaving over the stove, which I'm gonna be I'm actually gonna cook tomorrow. Slave I mean under the stove or over the stove. <laughs> Not only am I going to be a slave, I'm going to be under the stove, right? Good places for me, right? Yes. Anyways, I'm going to be next to the stove because I want to make some fila. Yes. You want to tell them what fila is? So fila, fila is, it's domades in Greek, right? But fila oh, is okay. our version. So if you're Greek, you know, and you might know this, if you know some Greeks, there's different islands, okay? And our island is Kalimnos. It's a big rock-like island, okay? And each island has their different version of these domades. And on our island, it's called fila. And the way they make these things, you know, it's the ultimate meal. So if you're really looking for something that has something of everything that you need, so as bad. far as protein, uh. fats, carbohydrates, right? It's got the greens. What it has is a grape leaf. It has um, it has lean um, hamburger meat, yep, right? It's sirloin. Sirloin. And uh, ground you know, chuck. it's got ground chuck in there. It's got rice in there. Um, a little bit of tomatoes. Onions. I don't really like chunks of tomatoes. He so doesn't see it. It's fine. It's really gr- ground up. No, he don't. Uh, so it has everything that you need, right? It's it's all there. It's a really really healthy meal, and it's what us Greeks eat. Now, however, eat- this meal takes <laughs> about three and a half hours yes. or four hours to make. Yes. So I mean, after cooking for three or four hours, and you're ex- so excited because you're like, okay, then you eat it, and you're like, oh my god, this came out so good yeah. you're waiting uh, i feel that pain right because yeah. i don't cook yeah. so i'm like listen if i cook you're gonna eat it yeah. all right you're gonna eat all of it <laughs> so, so i feel it i feel it yeah so she understands what it is and, and that's what it is so maybe you cook for people or whatever it is you feel you know a sense of pride and joy you yes. know when people eat your food and that's it that's you know that's it's a compliment to the chef right and that's what it is and everybody likes to be complimented 
So these, this is just one thing. So portion control. So you don't have to eat huge abundance plates at every place you go, but just portion control. And if they ask you why you're eating that portion, just by hey, listen, I've ate like three or four times a day. And you John know, literally I says just, it just like that too. I, he says it with the face and I everything. Just wanna, I just want to. Can't even to turn him eat. down. You're like, it's okay. You know, I, I just I don't want to overindulge and, and, and pack myself to the gills. Uh, this could also make you tired too. So you have to drive. Uh, you're getting you're tired no matter what. Why are you getting you know? tired? What's in what's in turkey? So, tryptophan. I mean, yeah, tryptophan. Yeah, so that that's one. It's an amino acid, and it actually makes you tired. Mm -hmm. But stuffing Fact. yourself, too, as well, Fact. and a lot of carbohydrates, too, so if you eat a lot of breads and stuff like that, this can also add to you being tired. That's why everybody passes out during the middle of the day or right when they get home because they're in a food coma, food per se, coma. right? So that's another one. Um, you know, the thing after that is, is, listen, if you're having a lot of drinks, try to cut them back. Right? It's okay to indulge and have some alcoholic beverages if you're of age, um, but don't overindulge and don't drive afterwards either. I want to throw that in there. Mm -hmm. But you know this can add to that too because there's sugars and such that will store in your body as fat if you overindulge there too as well. So you're eating all this stuff, you have a ton of carbohydrates, you're drinking alcohol, this is all going to contribute. So if you really want to rebalance it out, drink water. We think we talked about this the other day water too Water is well. a, a game changer, guys. Game like, changer. Honestly, um, if you want to pass me that right there, Art. Sure. So this has been a game changer for me. The I know hydro this, mate. I am not, listen, I'm not, I, I, I tell you guys this all the time. I'm not the gym like fanatic, right? And yeah. most of the people you find like use these, they're yeah. in the gym. I don't use it for that reason, right? So I like to play the game. I like to play the game. And it's cool because it really makes you like play it, right? right? So obviously it has all this cool stuff on here. Like, oh, get ready, set, drink, Keeps right? Keeps motivated. Oh, you didn't drink enough, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when you get to the bottom, you're like, yes, I did it. It's like refill the bottle. I'm <laughs> like, great. But no, honestly, guys, um, just talking about health purposes and like drinking water, not just for, you know, just flushing out your body, toxins, all the other fun stuff. It keeps your gut going. Yep. Um, you know, obviously it helps with weight, yep. weight loss big yep. time. Um, and it helps people that retain water. Yep. This helps with water retention. Absolutely. So, you know, increasing the water intake doesn't just do a, a million other things, but for your health, it's been a game changer for me. And you might not even realize it because sometimes you'll grab a bottle of water and how many of you guys take like four or five sips out of the bottle, put it down somewhere yep. and then walk away. Gone. And then all of a sudden you don't, just don't come back to yep. it. Right. Yep. Or you do come back and you're like, I don't know when I had that bottle of water. I just, you know, let me give it to the dogs, whatever yeah. it is. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's important to drink water. Yep. I'm, I'm, I want to push on that. It's important. So these are some things that you can do be more active or stay active during these times drink water and portion control and all your meals and wherever you're going you make sure you're trying to eat the best food sources okay to have some desserts some of these different things but make sure you're keeping it in check after that guys tight medical center therapies can help you out we can help you out here at tight medical center we have a number of different therapies that will definitely help you guys shred those pounds if you did gain them and weren't doing the things that we're telling you to do don't worry, we got your back. Or even if you want to be in a new you, new year coming up soon, start on those goals now. Get them going so you're ahead of the game when everybody hits that gym and is trying to jump on that same program <laughs> at the beginning of next year. Or that same machine yeah. <laughs> at the same time yeah. in the same gym. <laughs> you won't be as mad because you're already 10 steps ahead of them, all right? <laughs> so these are just some tips and tricks to help you guys out during the holidays, making sure you guys are staying lean and mean and not gaining a whole bunch of weight that you don't want. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week on Cupid's Corner. Make sure if you guys didn't catch it live, DVR it. Or if you guys didn't do that or missed it on the DVR, go to YouTube.com, type in Type Medical Center, and check for Cupid's Corner and all the cool videos that me, Sharice, and Type Medical Center offer to you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week at another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye. Bye.